Let's be imagine like you, you got like a back control and we always gotta look to get like a, the seat belt, you know, lock. The side that I am, I always gonna look like a, to get the over and the other side, always the under. And then I gotta make sure like a, I hold the tire spots, especially when, once the guys got in the position. We don't know if, how he's gonna react. We don't know if he's, if he's gonna give that position easy or not. So first react, you just gotta hold him tight. One thing what happens, like we have to figure out like a, which side he's gonna roll. It's not that hard. Like he always gonna be able to roll to the outside. He's never gonna roll against me because I have like a too much post over here to his side to roll to this side. So he always gonna roll to, the, to his left side. And once he rolls to the left side, I gotta just be ready to follow him. You know what I mean? I have this connection. As soon as I feel he's gonna roll, I gotta jump the quickest as possible to land before he's to follow him before his hip touch the mat. You're gonna touch his hip on the mat, I gotta just cover. So now he land on top of me. I cover like the body, so he's not he's not on the ground. So I'm gonna be able to just force him to go to the side that I want. And the side that I want is over the arm, over the shoulder. And then keep connect your hands, like this. Once you land over here, this hook's gotta be made, and then just put the other hook on the same time. One more time. So we got this. I, I'm, I'm in the balls of my feet when he rolls. As soon as he starts to roll, I just pull. get the hook. And keep the pressure. Doesn't, don't let his, like, a, even when he land, he don't let his slide his back. You see, is that okay? No. Just kind of, like, face me. No, don't, don't give, like, this chance, no for him. We got to keep him really tight. And then we just set up to put the hook. One more, again. One more time, quick. Just go there. Make sure like you hide your head, you don't want to hit your head once he roll, you know, if he, especially if he rolls too fast. And just hide your head close to his head. I'm guaranteeing if your head is close to his head, he's not going to try to hit your head on the mat, you know, but he's going to think twice. If I go here, if I were like a, we did a great setup and you know, we end, in this position with his back exposed, I'm ready to just like close the, everything I have. If the guy doesn't do anything, I, I don't be the next one to do the move. You know, if he just stay here and just wait, I don't just roll him to the side that I want. I'm gonna make it roll on this side. And then we just put the hook on. I don't have to make that, that huge roll. But the, the key is like that. He already exposed his back so much, but now he's like realized the mistake he's, he's had, he's guys made, and then he's gonna just like a roll to try escape. And then when he rolled this time, he was too quick and he landed with his hip on the mat and I don't have my hip on my leg underneath him. You know, first first idea, you know, we, we can try, we can try like to take the moment and just like a, once he finished the roll, just like uh, must and try bring it the other side. Sometimes the moment you give that to you, sometimes it's not that heavy, sometimes it's not bigger than you, so like just try putting it over there, you know, sometimes it works. But it's not like you don't have to any chance of this happening. And if you, for some reason the guy doesn't like it to that you, doesn't like it put in the place that you want it, you know what I mean? He was quick and he just let his hip quick. I couldn't follow him. I gotta do something. I can stay here because soon sooner or later he's gonna figure out something to do. Like for example, he's gonna just start to walk to hold my legs. And, and now he's gonna just like a, start to put the pressure against me. You know, and then soon or later maybe we're gonna let it go. So every time you, you have this control and you feel he starts to hold you, you're gonna start to go to your leg. I want you guys just get your feet on the mat and just run it your legs away off. And go as far as you can without letting it go. Once you get really far, once you're not able to like walk your feet anymore, I want you guys just like fight your feet on the mat. Keep the same pressure you guys have on top, keep on this position and just start to walk to get on top again. And then from here it's like a, it's way simple because he, he don't have that much movement. He's sitting, you know what I mean? He don't have like his feet, he can run, you know, he can't do much over here. So we have like a good control on this position. 
and we're gonna just like uh, think a little bit to see which way you gotta go. Which way you gotta go to the side that I have the arm on top of your shoulder. And if I can, I'm gonna even track his arm on the same time. So I have this position, I'm gonna put my hook and land me on the side that I have the arm on the shoulder. Like that. His arm is even trapped now. I can just control the other hand and just walk the choke. One more time. So, you know, I was slow, he just react quick and he just put his foot on the mat. I didn't even pull him, he started to look for my legs, run over me, like my hip. Don't release the pressure over here. Sit him down. And I'm on, I, I'm, I'm on my knees, guys. Look. I'm still on my knees. And then I'm going to just like that, step my leg inside. Don't throw your leg inside, guys. Don't, don't do this like that. It, because if I sit, I put myself in the same position as him. So now he can choose a side to go. I don't have like a, the control that you call. So I want to keep the control. What do I mean? On this step, I have my baby. If I want to give him stand up, I can stand up. He's not going to choose that. He still has that control. So stand up and then just think like this. Just think before that. You guys got to know which way you got to go. I got to go this side. I have the arm on top of the shoulder. And just go land over there. Don't give him a choice. Control his arm, put your hooks, whatever he did first. And then try to finish with the choke. 